Hello, welcome to the Yard Lane. I was ready to go. Paul went 54321. I went to go and nothing happened. Uh, anyway, now, for those of you who are new to us today, Yarn Lane is all about, um, well, I always normally say knitting and crochet, but today I've got tatting. I've got tatting today. Now, I've never seen tatting happen before, so uh, if you're new as well, this is the very first time that I'm going to be... I'm, I know what it looks like because I've seen it finished, but I've never seen it being made before, so I'm quite excited about that. Little Paul's mum loves tatting, and you know she loves all kind of intricate things like that. Um, right, now, let's just talk about... Um, if you're watching us now, then you'll be welcome to Yarn Lane. You can be watching on the telly, you can be watching on the website, you can be watching on YouTube, and you can be watching on, on the website again. Um, but let's go look at the website because I want to show you how you can buy. You can ring the call centre, it's just round the corner, and that number is 0800 4 700 at 600. If you go to the website here though, look, there it is, that's yarnlane.com. Then you click on watch the show live. You get a screen with me in it there. Now, if you want to send in a message, um, you see a little box there that says send message. You can write a message there. You can also email, but I'll tell you about that in a second, right? Scroll down the page. Now, everything so far is on pre-order. So that's everything I've got for sale in this hour. Uh, we'll talk about that kit in a minute. We haven't got it here, but we'll talk about that in a second, right, uh, with Barbara. So that's everything that's for sale in this hour. Uh, so you can pre-order. You just click on Add to Your Basket. Or if you want to wait and you want to see uh, part of the demonstration before you buy it, you can do. Or you can ring the call centre as I say on 0800 4 700 600. It's just round the corner here in Reddit. So you can do that. Now you can, oh, they're already selling. They're already selling, so you must know, must know about it. Right, so let me just tell you. You can send an email in which is studio at yarnlane.com, studio at yarnlane.com. Oh, actually, if you do send it to Sewing Street, it goes through to Hannah as well, but we like to, we like to be a bit complicated. And also, if you uh, send, a, I've got the Facebook Live open, so we've already got Carol saying hello, Tina saying hello. Tina's very glad that she can watch live today. So you can do that and send me a message there. Or, of course, like I showed you, you can send a message on the website. Now, I've got a lovely Barbara here today. She's a bit nervous. I don't know why you're nervous. Don't be nervous. <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm going to take you through all the kits, first of all, before we do any tatting, and then I'm going to sit back and I'm going to enjoy and learn how to do tatting. And we've got needle tatting and we've got shuttle tatting. And we're using beads as well. We're using beads as well. Right, okay, so let's start with needle tatting. So this is what you'll get. If you buy this bundle, this is what you get. It's all here. This is the only needle tatting bundle I've got today. £25.99. So in here... You've got this, oh, that's nice, beautiful yarn in like lovely soft spring colours in there. Apparently it comes from America, but we'll be asking about that in a minute. Then you get these two happy Easter cards with envelopes. Then you've got in here, now I need to put my glasses on now. Uh, I can tell you've got a fine thread needle. Does it say size 10? Size 7. 7, it's size 7, Hannah, size 7. Um, and the what's the, well, I'll ask, I'll ask. There's two things in there, so I'll ask what they are in a minute. Then you also get Learn Tatting Step by Step by Barbara Foster. You've got your own book? No, it's not me. Oh, is that not you? Sorry, I thought your name was Bar your name's Barbara, though, Barbara, so I've got that yes, bit right. Oh, sorry, I need to Barbara. I want to apologise. Right, okay, so in here, there's a st Learn Needle Tatting Step by Step by Barbara Foster, somebody else, somebody else. An American. Um, oh, oh, lovely. It's beautiful. God, Brian, it's quite decent size. Plus, you get the Easter egg pattern, which is what we're going to do today. Yes. And that's your, is that that's yours? Fine. Yes. Your Barbara Murdoch. Yes. Your Barbara Murdoch. <laughs> Got it now. So what we make with this, let me show you in here. Look, how beautiful are these? Look, look at these. How delicate and beautiful. These look like the Fabergé egg. You know what I mean? Beautiful, isn't it? So you can do this. We're going to show, we, listen to me, we are going to show you this. <laughs> Barbara is going to show you how to do this. And it's beautiful, isn't it? I'll just move that into the top. We, I, I think it's lovely. I'd be doing loads. Uh, I'll, I'll ask all the questions for you in a second. So this is um, 25 night time. This is the only needle uh, one we've got, needle tatting, that we've got today. Lovely kit there for £25.99. Okay. Now I'm going to show you the shuttle tatting ones as well, only because then you can start buying and then we can, then we can just get on with the thing. <laughs> right. So I've got this one here, this one here. Now, in here, is, it, is this a beginner's kit, is yes. it? Yeah, yeah yes. beginner's kit. So, learn tatting with Laysette or Laysay publications. 
So in here, you get your variegated yarn, you get your beautiful peacock turquoise yarn, you get your um, pale blue yarn in there. Now, this is your shuttle. I can't guarantee your shuttle will be blue. That's no, right, isn't it? You'll right. get a, any <laughs> coloured shuttle. I have no idea. I have no idea how from this, you can make this. It's a necklace. Oh, Barbara's very, very happy with this. She's made her own um, face mask look. But look, beautiful, isn't it? We won't, we won't be doing the face mask, you said, just like that. So have it's a pattern in there as well. There's a pattern in there as well. Yes, there it there is. There it is. Yeah. Beginner's tatting pattern for an edging or a bracelet. But I presume you use the bracelet for the um, for the necklace as well. Is the necklace in that no, one? No, the there? necklace is in this one. In this one. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, so Hannah's got this bracelet. Oh, you <laughs> gave her a gift, did you, last time? Yes, I oh. did. Are you wearing it, Hannah? Oh, it didn't go with all her pattern today, <laughs> so she couldn't wear it today. So she's had two donuts and a present today and a new blouse and wow. a new blouse. All we've had is grief from Hannah. That's all we've had. <laughs> right, so that's that kit. That's that kit. So that's your that's beginner kit there. Then brand new kits with beads. Which one would you like first, Hannah? Pink. Pink first. Is that the green and pink one? Yeah. 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 Now I'll just put this. Oh, look how delicate these are. I get Paul coming in. Right, so. Earrings. You obviously don't. Nate. Oh. Yes, you do. You don't. <laughs> you do. You get all the fixings as well. Are they called fixings? When I was a jewelry maker. Right, so there's Shepherd's Hook Crook earrings. Your little bracelet with your. Ma is that a magnetic clasp? Yeah. There? Magnetic clasp. And is that to put on the end of a, pe a pendant? It's a pendant. Oh, that's cool. You don't get the, the chain, but you get everything else. You get, uh, yeah, yeah, of course. So, so in, in here, so if you want to make those three items, this is twenty one ninety nine. Right, hang on a sec. So in there, you get the instructions. You get the most glorious variegated thread look. Then, oh, this is like being back at Jewelry Maker, this look. So <laughs> now they are like little, they look like little seed, seed beads. beads. Size 11. Size 11 seed beads. There you go, size 11 seed beads. Then you also get, oh, these, I love these. Now, these are like the beads. Remember I was talking about the wedding dresses I make? And I used mm. to completely encrust them with, um, I don't know what they were called, but you used to put the beads in like this. So when the sunlight caught them, you just got that shimmer, that yes. beautiful shimmer. Aurora Borealis. Aurora Borealis. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I went on holiday once to Tromso or Tron Trondine, somewhere like that, see it, and it just snowed and rained every day. And we didn't and see anything. And you didn't anything. see We left, and the day after we left, they had the best the aurora Lights. ever, and I Aww. didn't see it. Hang on, there's more. That is the Northern Lights, Paul. Right. <laughs> okay, and then in there, you get your shepherd's hook crook, you get your clasp, and everything you need to create those. That's brilliant for twenty one ninety nine. So that's that one. That's the pink and green one. Do we call it, what do we just call it? I think that's just pink and green. Tatting and design. Pinks, 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 pinks. pinks. Yeah, there we go. Righty-ho. So they put all that away. Now I've got the same in like, oh no, same but different. Same but different. I've got it. I mean, incredible value, isn't it? That you get, you're getting here. But look at these. Oh, I love these. That's your hematite. Do what, what? Hematite. Oh, it's hematite. Mm. Now that's good. They say that's good for your blood, don't they? And things like that. We can't guarantee that, obviously, you know, but that's <laughs> what they say. I'm just trying to get the earring untangled, that's all. It's uh, the magnet. The magnet. It's, it's caught on the magnet. Magnet. Oh, of course it is, yeah. Let mm. me get the magnet clasp open. There we go. Uh, I've only got one earring, Barbara. Uh, Hannah. Oh, dear. Oh, no, there it is. There it is. <laughs> right, so in this one, again, we will get on with some tatting in a minute, I promise. So you get the love. Oh, it's not. I looked at that and thought it was going to be a variegated thread, but it's the silver thread yes. in that one. Oh, okay. now look. Now they're like peacock coloured, aren't they, in there? Yeah. Beautiful peacock. And then, th th so this is your hematite here. And you, I'm not going to get the fastenings out, but you get the fastenings as well in there. Aren't they lovely? So you can make the earrings, the bracelet, and the pendant out of all of this, can't you? Beautiful. Okay, and then, last but not least... I've got a bright blue version. I want to get it all put away properly. <laughs> there we go. 
The bright blue version is here. Now, I've only got the pendant of the bright blue one here because I think Hannah's wearing these. <laughs> no, I'm working on them. <laughs> oh, has Hannah got it on, did you say? Uh, oh. I shall be doing the demonstration. With oh, you'll be doing the demonstration with that one, okay. Right, okay, so you get the instructions. You get that lovely, the colours of these threads are beautiful, beautiful. aren't they? Lovely. Okay, and then you get little seed pearls in this one and then little pearl pearls, yeah? Yeah. And then you've got your, your findings all in there. Right, now before we go to Barbara to do a demonstration, there's another kit that I need to explain to you, which we haven't got here. We've got a picture of it, Hannah. Right, we've got a picture of it. So I'm going to sell you something completely blind now. <laughs> Right. It's just it's just one of those. Oh, okay. It's it's a, a, a what do you get? Do you tell us what what you get? It what what's you in get, this kit? You hold on to that. For I hold on to that. You get your. This lace is Barbara, it. by the way, everybody. Hi, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> you get your booklet, and you will get a shuttle like that. Okay. So it's a booklet and a shuttle. Right. So okay. it's the minimum that you need. But if you I don't want everything else, then that's. Okay, perfect. Okay. So that's for four ninety nine. Yeah, that's all you need for four ninety nine. Start. Brilliant. That's fantastic. <laughs> right. Okay. So we've shown everything. We've shown you Barbara now, looking lovely <laughs> in pink. So shall. Thank you. Oh, hang on. Got, got, got one question before we start. Mm -hmm. So it says, do the jewelry kits include the tatting needles? Their shuttle. The oh, hang on. Oh, yes. Yeah, the, no, no it doesn't include a shuttle or a needle. You can use either. Oh, thank you. So, it's a shuttle. so if they buy that, then they've got a shuttle. If they've got a shuttle, yes. You might already have a shuttle at home. You might already have a shuttle. If you're brand new to it, get the beginner kit, which is the booklet and the shuttle, and then buy the kit of your choice to be able to make it. But you say you can make it with needles as, as you well. You can make it with a needle, yes. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start, though, with this needle kit here, yeah, aren't this we? This is the start. So now, ta I don't even know what the official... What is tatting? What is what is it? Okay. And I can see what it looks like, but I don't know what it is. All right. Uh, tatting is a form of lace, uh, and it's made with knots. Oh. So if someone tells me to get knotted, I, I don't mind because I'm knotting all insult. the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not an insult anymore. Um, so tatters, they they just they sit and they knot. Right. So because when you make lace, I've seen lace lady makers. They've got a big cushion in front of them and about 500 pins. And they're doing this and they're putting a pin and doing a thread. And everything. It's none of that. No, that's called bobbin lace. Oh, OK. Yeah. And it's, it is a form of lace, obviously. And it does tend to be what people think of as lace. But lace is is any fabric that's got holes in it. So you can knit lace and you can crochet lace. Oh, OK. And you can also tat lace. So it's basically the the co the composition of it, which is lots of holes, nice and airy and holy. Okay, then, and so the difference between needle and tatty, a uh, needle and shuttle. Okay, the difference is only the way that the the actual implement that you use to make the knots. To make the knots. Oh, okay yes. then. All right then. Yeah. So let's make a let's make a start then okay. on this first kit. So we've got the happy Easter cards here, which I'll put out like that. So <coughs> we're going to create those. Are you right there? Mm. Create these little. What's they, what do you, they ta no, no, can't be called, called tats, surely. Well, <laughs> funnily enough, some people do call them little tats. Um, it's a, one is an Easter egg motif and the other is, uh, from the same pattern, you can make the Easter egg uh, edging. Okay, what's that called? What are those little circles called? They're called rings. The oh, circles rings. are rings. Okay. Yeah. Okay, and the, then. the straight so, bits are chains. And then in this packet here, it says I've got a size seven needle but there's two things in there yes those are your needle threaders oh oh okay because you do actually thread your, your needle goes through the eye your, so in the big thread glass goes through the, the big eye. plastic thing there's a, a needle in one and a thread and the other's a threader yeah it? okay perfect yeah. i'll let you take it from there then yeah. so we can see okay, what you're then. doing okay so uh last time we looked at how to do just rings with uh, the needle right so we we um we cut the the thread from the ball today we're going to look a little bit further and we're moving on to using a ball and a needle and not cutting it off and not cutting it off which means that we can actually make rings and chains before we could only make rings right oh okay right and we made some lovely little cards with little flowers on yeah them. but you just had the single individual rings there. that's right yeah but this time we can do both right Okay, so what I'm going to do, I'm working from the pattern. Which you, which you get Easter in. Easter egg yeah. pattern, yeah. And um, 
I'm going to put my glasses on because, like John, I just... Oh, what do you mean? <laughs> I just do mine for effect. <laughs> oh, no, I need mine. <laughs> no, God, I can't. Yeah, so do I. Right, okay. I'm blind so. without them. Okay, so to begin with, we're going to measure off a metre of the thread. Right. And that's a perfect metre. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to have you to measure the metre. Yes, you have come, to have to come round and measure round. <laughs> Um, so it's a rough idea, but about a metre. Yeah. And we're going to put that behind the, th the needle. Right. Uh, so we've got a loop here. Okay, now we're not going to be working with that loop thread because that thread is what's going to go through all of the stitches and keep them together. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to start by doing the first half of the stitch, which is literally just going round the finger yeah. and take it up. And there's your little loop. Oh, Paul's saying yes as though he knows what you're doing. Yes, Paul's going, oh, they've yeah, seen yeah, it all that. before. And then that's the next one. Okay, so it's the first Okay, so half. hang on. So you just wind it round. Yeah. Can we see it from the, from the other from the screen, other screen, Paul, that one? Because the pink background, we can see. There you go, there you go. So you wound it round the needle, then you go through the loop. That's right. And the second time, you go the opposite direction and you go up towards the nail. So the first half is going round clockwise yeah. and up that way. The second half is going anti-clockwise, bring the finger forward and go from knuckle up to nail. And does it, do they have names? Like on the pattern, will it say do one? That is, <coughs> that's called a double stitch because it's got two halves okay. to it. So whenever we have a number on the pattern, that will be the number of double stitches that you do. Right. So our pattern's telling us the first thing we're doing is a ring, and we're doing six double stitches. Right. So I've done three. Right, so you do, okay. So I'm going to do first half, second half. Right. First How half. How did you get into this? Second half. Oh, sorry, you can't. Well, um, I, I had a very good friend um, who wanted to teach me how to do bobbin lace, which is what we're talking about. Yes. And she started to teach me, and I just, with all these pins and... I, I know. Ev and then she said to me, well, why don't you try tatting? Because you don't really need much for tatting. You just need a shuttle and some thread. Yeah. And so she taught me how to tat. Also, you could do this sitting in your armchair, couldn't you? Where's oh, yeah. Where's bobbin lace? I think you'd you have, have to... You have to have it on your lap, yeah. and, and it's... Um, I mean, it's beautiful when it's finished. Oh, don't, yes, don't yes, but, it, it, but it's a different, it's a yeah, different skill. It's it? much, much more... Um, sort of you have to have so many bits and pieces yeah. and that's not me no. I'm a bit sort of plain really <laughs> okay. so were you, were you into crafts and everything or knitting before yes I mean I I started to crochet when I was about nine I was knitting at a seven. Oh, okay so I've knitted and crocheted yeah. all my life and I've done cross stitch and all sorts of things yeah um, but I really enjoy tatting so much like I said that my, my first time on uh, I bought the bought the business oh okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you've done you've done six double stitches. So I've done stitches. six double stitches there. Right. Okay. Yeah. You can probably see those on the needle. Now the pattern then tells you to do a pico, and the pico is literally a little piece of thread between two stitches. Oh, Hannah's been going pico, pico, pico. I'm pico, sure pico. To tell us what it was. Yeah. So I'm going to do the first half of the stitch and leave a little gap. Yeah. And then the second half, hang on to that first half. And then you can see you have. Oh! Perhaps if I put it on there, is, it, is that better on the white? Is it better on the white or the wood, Paul? Yeah, that's fine where it is. Thank okay. You. So now it tells us to do three. So I do two more because I've done one stitch already doing the pico. Yeah, double stitches. These are yeah, double stitches, yeah. yeah. And another pico. And then three. So the pico is like making a, a hole almost, isn't yes, it? Yes, it's like a little loop. Yeah. I think it's, is it French for loop or something like that? Oh, is it? I, I don't know about... It's oh, a French know. word. I don't know what it means. <laughs> okay, no, it's not le loop, Paul. Could you look up pico in French, please, for me? <laughs> oh, look, oh, it's gorgeous. And that's just by doing a loop. Yeah. And those can be used for joining. Yes. Or they can be used as decoration. Right. Okay. Okay. So now... It tells us to close the ring. So to close the ring, we're going to push the needle through those stitches and bring the thread that's on the needle through those stitches and keep pulling 
The whole of that meter that's, that's yeah, behind Yeah, the whole it. of that meter. Oh, I see. So that meter that you pulled at the beginning is actually going to tie them all together. Yeah. Instead of them yeah. being on the needle, it becomes the needle itself. That's right. But before, because we want a ring, before we close it completely, we have to put the needle through the loop at the end. There. Right. So we pull that through the loop and then we continue to pull. And as we continue to pull, you'll see there's a ring. Oh my word. Okay. It's very delicate, isn't it? It's very delicate. Now I'm actually using a size thicker thread to what's in the kit because you wouldn't see it on TV. Oh, okay, so you're doing that for demonstration. So, yes, purposes, yes. And so tell me about the tell me, So you call it thread and it mm -hmm. comes from America. That one does, yes. Oh, okay, and yeah. it's only used, this is only used for tatting then, Oh is no, it? you can use that for crochet, you can use it for sewing. Oh, okay. It's, it, it quilts beautifully, the finer ones quilt lovely. Oh, wow. Yes, it's, there's a lot of things that you can use. Oh yeah, for. it's 100% Egyptian cotton. Yes. Oh yeah, it's a size 20 thread, of course, mm. yeah. Mm. How fun, this one's actually called Easter eggs, isn't it? A six cord cardinet preferred for crochet, tatting, knitting and quilting and other needle arts. It's colour fast, so you don't need to worry about that. Yeah. I don't know what gas singed means. It what means that, that mean? it's smooth. Oh, okay. You, oh, no, it, it no goes through. Bits. It's right, it goes through a flame and, and takes off all the little furry bits. And like little Paul, it's got an outstanding body that holds its shape. <laughs> Anyway, so carry on. So you've done one ring. So we've done one okay, ring. Okay, we've done a ring. Now, um, normally I would turn that ring over. Yeah. But at the moment I'm not going to do that because so, I'm so going this to is what follow you did last it with a ring. You just made a single yes. thing like that and yeah. used it to decorate. So, so now did. you're going to carry on. Right? But we're going to carry on and we're going to do another ring butted up against that. Yeah. But I don't want to turn it over. Because you want all the right sides Because I want to be them all the same. same. Yeah. Yes. So I've still got to knot it off. So what I do is I put the needle thread round my hand and put the needle up through there and then I can just tie that off without turning it over. Okay. Okay, so okay, that's so a special. Fran, have you got a friend called Fran? She said, hi Barbara, you'll be fabulous. Oh, thank you Fran. Uh, Claire's got a shuttle but she's now to use it. Well, I'll show you later Claire. Uh, don't be nervous, you're on with John. Oh, that's oh, nice, thank, thank you Carol. You. <laughs> and then Fran said, is needle tatting easier than shuttle tatting? It's just slightly easier. Okay, because she says, I think I need to practice more with the shuttle. That's yes. from Fran. Yeah. Oh, it and Sue, sorry, Susan's messaged in as well, saying, Barbara, you are so good at teaching and I love your kids. Oh, uh, John, Mum and I enjoy watching your show so much. It's like having a friend over from Suzanne in Cornwall. Oh, thank you, Suzanne. That's nice. Isn't, isn't that it? lovely? Okay, so we don't want super. circle. And now okay, we get on to the next so one. now we're going to do, because we're doing what is called a trefoil, which is three circles together, three yep. rings together. We're going to do another ring. So what I've done is I've put that ring that I've just made behind my needle and I've so put it on the knot. It's not the needle, it's just, no. it's just literally behind Just literally it. behind. Okay. And then we're going to start again with our stitches. And this time I'm doing one, two, and I'm going to speed up a little bit yeah. because... So these are all the same, these are all the, sa all they the same, same stitch. They? Once yeah. you've got that stitch, yeah. that's it. And now we're going to join, okay? And I'm going to join it to that last pico I made. So yeah. I just put my needle through and bring some of the thread through and it's joined. And remember, you're always working with the thread that comes from the ball. Yeah. Okay. So you've still got that meter over there, haven't you? On yes, the other side, still yeah. got that one. Yeah. So we off we go again, this time I'm doing three more. Yeah. One, two, we get quite fast at it. Yes. Three. Sorry, we're doing six more, not three. Yeah. I did what I didn't want to enter you know, I didn't want to say. Four. I think it's six, Barbara, <laughs> actually. Six. And then we're going to do a little pico on the top of there. Pico. Pico coming. And then another six. It's spelled P I C Q U O T, isn't it? Just a C. C Just a C. Mm -hmm. It's so a picot then. Picot, yes. A picot. Some people pronounce it picot. Okay. Oh, do they? Yeah. That's six. Another little pico. And then three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay. So that's the next ring. Right. So we're doing the same thing. Push pull the needle through. up through and pull through. But remember to put your needle through that loop before it disappears because we're doing a ring. Right. 
and pull it together and there we've got two that are joined and then we're going to tie that off again yeah. so again do the loop over the top put your needle through and pull I tend to put it down when I'm doing this Oh, uh, now, I, I was about to say, it doesn't look like mine, but it's because you're using a different thread. The thread yes. that you've, you've got in your kit will make thicker. this, will make that multicolored. Mm, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 that's yeah. it. Okay. It's like both of those, Paul, I think, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So off we go again. Yeah. One, two, three. And we're going to join again. Yeah. Put the needle through the pico and pull. You can use a, a, a crochet hook for this if you want to. A big, blooming, tiny crochet hook. Yeah, we, we use very small crochet hooks. Do, I don't know if we get that. What sort of size would you use? Uh, I use uh, between a 0.75 and a 0.6 oh, millimetre. Oh, tiny, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Do, so do we do that small? I don't think we do do They're crochet hammer. hooks for thread. Right. People can contact you if they need to know where to get one of those. Of course. They? Oh, yes. now, what's the, so what's the name of your company? How do, if people want to ask you questions. Uh, Tatting and Design. Tatting and Design? Yeah. With Barbara? Yeah. <laughs> and are you on all social medias? Uh, yeah, I'm on oh, Facebook. Sorry, I'm making you not count, aren't I? <laughs> uh, two for fa I'm on Facebook. Right. So people um, can find you there if they want to ask you any questions. Yeah, and please. there's a website. Yeah. yeah. And in normal times, you do classes then? I do, yes. Uh, but I've, I'm missing all my... It's what, my, I'm missing all my Oh, uh, I'm sure. It's friends. been a year now, hasn't yes. it? It's horrible. We have a, a big group that meets... Uh, once a month. So and whereabouts in the country is that? Where's uh, in House Owen. Oh, okay. Yeah, and in the Midlands, and we we meet from all over the Midlands. So I really miss my scattered tatters. Oh, let, uh, uh, scattered tatters. <laughs> yes. Oh. So if any scattered tatters are watching, hello. Oh. It won't. I'm sure it won't be long before we can. <laughs> no, I think we're going. We're, we're, we're getting towards together. the end of it. Hopefully. Yes, yeah. You had your right. yet? Yes, I have. And were you all right? Were you all right? Because I yes. was fine with mine, but yes. my friends weren't fine with theirs. I, I was very tired after it, yeah. I must admit. So I'm do I've done the third one yeah, now. Yeah, sorry, yeah, carry on. Okay, so we're going to pull that through right before and then pull, put it through the loop. So that's the third one of our trefoil. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah, now Kay Fassett does a design that he calls trefoil. I'm sort of tree. Go. But that's, no. I can see it now. That is that pattern. It's yeah. exactly that. Three. Now, the middle one looks bigger. The middle the, one is bigger, yes. Oh, did you do more stitches? Then? Yes, oh, we did more sorry. stuff. We did. We did. Okay. Now, I'm, I'm going to do a chain next. Oh, So okay. I need to turn it over. And you turn it over like you would a leaf of a book. Okay. So you oh. turn it over like that. Yeah. And you'll see that the two threads cross right. at the top there. Oh, oh, yep. And then I'm going to put my needle through where they cross and then I'm going to pull it so that it nice sits nicely. So is that like a gran did you just do a granny knot? Yes, yeah. just like a granny knot. And now we're going to do a chain. Right. And what's a chain? And the chain is just a straight piece. Oh, not not going backwards and not forwards. Not going backwards just and forwards. Normal front stitch. And there's there's eight on the chain, so it's right. three. And you've still got it with the back to us, have you? Or have you turned it back? Turned it over. Yeah. Yeah. There's not really a front and back. No. Uh, you can use both sides. Two, four, six, seven, eight. Now, this is where the fun starts. Oh, right. Because <laughs> we've got to join to that pico there. Right. So we have to... Um, so you can see it's going to be very difficult. Yeah. So the easiest thing to do is to pull your needle through the stitches. Yeah. So you've got your chain. You, but you didn't pull your needle through the loop No, that time. because okay. look, it's just a straight chain. Okay, okay. See? And then we can bend it round <coughs> yeah. and we can put our needle through there Yeah. and brings, bring a little bit of... Whoops. Oh. Because I'm nervous, isn't it? Oh, you're not nervous still. I am sure, still nervous, right? yes. Well, you're not shaking. <laughs> Thinking of all the people watching me make mistakes here. Oh. <laughs> okay, and that's joined. Right. Okay. Now, yeah. with that, I pulled through the thread that comes from the needle. Yeah, so it's yeah. a slightly different join. It's called a lock join. Okay. Okay. So that's that. So now we start again and we do the rest of the chain 
which is another chain, eight, yeah. two, three, four, five. Wendy Orlando's machines. Good afternoon, John and Barbara. Absolutely love this. I can see a new hobby emerging and Barbara is making it look so relaxing. She's terrified. She's terrified, <laughs> Wendy Orlando. She loves your demo. Lo says Thank it's very you. fascinating. Sue says lovely demo. And um, Helen says, I love how enthusiastic John is with this. Oh, that's fascinating. I've never seen it before. Oh, right, yes. where are we up to now? Okay, yeah. so we're ready now. I've done the eight yeah. and we're going to pull, pull through. Right through there. Yeah. And do we do it through the hook? Oh, no. No, no, because it's still a straight one. It's still a straight yeah, one. Yeah, got it, got it, got it. Okay. Yeah. And then we're going to turn it over again yeah. because this is we're going back into uh, rings. Yeah. So we're going to turn it over like that. You see there's a little yeah. loop there. Go through. And go through. Yeah, know that. And I find it easy pull to pull it down. Pull your granny together. Pull it down. So together. it's never going to unravel, is it? Because you've no. you, each section, you've finished it each off. Each section is yeah. finished off. Okay. And, and then, then we would start again where we just begun. With six? With six. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Oh, I've got I can do that then. I've got the hang of that now. <laughs> he's, uh, by Joe, if he's got it. Yeah. Three, <laughs> four, five, and six. And then we're going to go back and join into that last ring that we did. Right. So you see the little pico there is going yeah, to have pico. two joins in it. Yeah. So push it through there and bring it through. I might use, I might use my might use crochet, you crochet hook for this. Oh, we're going to see the biggest crochet hook ever now. <laughs> Little tiny yeah, crochet we, oh, we hook. We don't do these then. You did check. We don't do this small then. Okay. Oh, no, no. So get in touch with Barbara if you want to know where to get a crochet hook. You want small. one small. Yeah. But if you've already... Do you have to have a crochet hook to do that? You don't have to. It's just easier if it's a tight. Oh, so get one. Definitely get one. Yeah. <laughs> and then to finish off this ring, I think we do three. What do you one, mean you think? Two. <laughs> well. You're the expert. I'm the expert. I wrote the pattern. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> three, Pico. And three. And this is a ring. So yeah. remember... What do we do for Take the Take it through and then you have to put your needle through the end to finish it off. That's it. Put it through the loop. Oh, I could, I could have done this. You could have stayed home. I could have done this. Yes, you'd be <laughs> fine. Yeah. I think I'd have been shaking. You're not shaking at all. I'd have been like <laughs> this. I'd have been rubbish. Okay. So um, from there, basically, we, we you just carry on. And yes. You, so now see. does it make a straight line? Like if you carry yes. on, it just it just makes a long line yes. of lace. Yeah. Thing. And then to decorate the card. And then you can card, put it on the card. Yeah. How do you like attach that. it to the card? I just use PVA glue. Is that the white, like the primary white school, school glue? glue. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> it's Fantastic. Fine. It dries um, beautifully clear. Yeah. And you only need a tiny bit, I imagine. Yes, just a little bit. Uh, to do the Easter egg, you just do exactly the same. And then at the end, but when you've done one, two, three, four, five repeats, you just do a long chain and join it back to where you started. Oh, yes, I can see the one that goes around the top of the yeah. egg. That's like a long yeah. chain, isn't it? How brilliant. That's lovely. Okay, okay. so that is... So that's that your needle is, tatting. That's just needle tatting. So let's move now on to shuttle tatting, because this is what people are wanting to learn. Oh, I've got more messages, but let me put all this away. Oh, Barbara's watching. Paul's mum's watching. Have you seen his new trousers, Barbara? He looks ever so smart today. Oh, I haven't seen him today. With right, so which one do you want to do first? The beginner one. Oh. Oh, no, no, this this one. This beginner one here. Oh, done that one before, yeah. so we're going straight to jewellery. Yeah. Okay, so which one are you starting with? Are we doing a particular colour? So I'm, I'm working today with the blue colour because right, I thought okay. it would show up better. Okay, on let's the start screen. off with that one, putting that one in then. Okay. So this is the blue one with the pearls. Okay. Okay. So um, I've started the bracelet, as you can see. And what we're going to look at today, the techniques we're going to look at, is putting beads into your tattoo. Okay. Before you do that, though, yeah. I don't know, and Claire doesn't know, what shuttle tatting is. So with the needle, that was obvious that you went through and you made your okay. thing, this, like that. But you've got some. Does with it slide like a knitting machine or with something? Like <laughs> with shuttle tatting, your shuttle takes the place of the needle. 
okay so the shuttle thread is what goes through all of the stitches it's exactly the same stitch bang on the needles this fat and the shuttles that fat ah Go, go, go. Shall I go and do it yeah, then? Yeah, do it. Okay. Do it. So let me just talk to you a little bit about beads and where they can be. So depending on where your beads are in your design will depend where the beads are when you start. Right. Okay. So in this design, you can see that the beads are on the chain yeah. here. And there are the bigger beads are between the rings. Right. Now we add the bit of bigger beads as we go along. Right. Okay. So... At the moment, I'm just about ready to do a chain. Right. And when I do, when I when you put beads on your chain, mm. they have to be on your ball thread. So they're right. already on there. So you, do you still have your meter? Do you still start off with your meter? No. To one so no. where are they come from? You then? would start from you first of all. You would thread them onto your um, thread. Thread this beads the thread on. from here. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I will show you how to do that in a minute. Okay, sorry. If I'm jumping ahead, just, sh just no, no, shut no, up. No, no, no. It's fine. It's ahead. fine. Um, and then when you've done that, you will wind on some some of the thread onto your shuttle, and then you start with a ring. Right. But I have done all of that in previous programs. Yeah. So if you need to to go back and look at the other when programs, were on last, when were you on last? I was time? on last on the February the first. First of February. Go to YouTube, Yarn Lane YouTube on February and the first. Also the sixteenth of December. Oh, when you? So just, there you go. Sixteenth of what? December. December. Is that your first day? The first sixteenth yeah. December. Yeah. What, did you do shuttle on that day as yes. well? And then what was the second date? Sorry, just like first. First of February. Feb. And did you shuttle that day as well? Mm -hmm. So go to have a watch yeah. of how to. So start have a little watch of those, and yeah. you will get to know a, a little a few more things about okay. joins and whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm ready to do my chain. Right. So I'm going to do six stitches now. Oh. What happens is the thread from my shuttle goes uh -huh. through, okay? Now, it's a bit harder to show you with just a single stitch, but if you... I don't know how it's going, and I can't see how it's going. <laughs> You'll have to watch the programme, Yeah, like I, <laughs> I can't see how it's... I could, with the needle, I could see that yes. you're going through. I can't yeah. see where it's going on that one. Go on, do it again. <laughs> right. And the second half. So it's still the same stitch. Yeah. If, um, if I can but show you. You've got a bigger that. tool. Yeah, the tool, the tool, because this, this, I don't have, um, each stitch will, will be through. Yes, uh, yeah. As opposed to making all the stitches and then putting it yes, through. Yeah. Okay, so each one. So uh, two, four, five, one more, yeah. six. Now, because I want three beads on the yeah uh, chain there i'm going to take three beads and bring them up and basically they're sitting in a pico pico <laughs> so it's a bead pico and they sit three sit quite nicely because they make like a little pointed triangle and you can just carry on then with your three I still can't see Four. how it's still working. <laughs> you won't, it's very difficult with a single colour to see how it's working. Yeah. Just, just, right, okay. And six. Okay. Right. Okay. Yeah. So now I'm going to turn my work over like I would do if it was needle yeah, like tatting. Yeah, like a book. So with this, you turn it literally upside down. Oh, not like a book. Then. Not like a book with this okay. one. Okay. And then we're just going to do... This is you're here, isn't it? It really? is, I'd really. Right, my old mess. Yeah. Now. I can't I, do I this think, one. I think you... Would have struggled with this. I would, <laughs> I'd still be with the needle. I'd still be threading <laughs> the needle. Oh, we didn't talk about the needle threader, did we? Never mind. <laughs> there we go. So I'm going to do my ring. So I make a ring around my hand. Yeah. And then I start with my stitches again. And this time it's six stitches again. One, right. two, three. Oh, you're taking it off the end of your finger. Four. I can see yes. it now. I can see it. Because I've got it. Five. Six. And now the pattern tells us we have to join in and put a, a bead on that last pico. So I'm going to pick up my bead yeah. and pull it through the pico. And then with that loop, yeah. I can then join it onto that ring thread. 
Um, so make sure you join your ring thread, like I said before. Yeah. So it's a normal join, but before you join, you're going to put your bead, put your bead on, yeah. onto the pico. Yeah. So we're making slightly bigger picots, okay. which I'll show you in a sec. Uh, Sue Lake says, hello, John and Barbara. I started needle tatting. Last time Barbara was on, I absolutely love it. Fantastic. I just need to learn how to read a pattern now. Okay. Ooh, okay. okay. Oh, hang on. There's an email coming as well quickly. Who? Oh, Sue Jar, very nice. Hello, everyone. Learned subtle tatting from my grandma at age 10. Very long time ago, says Sue Jar. Seeing the needle tatting demo, I'm going to have a go. Looks easy. I think that as well. And a lot of patience. Well, I haven't got that. But I think <laughs> the needle tatting... What, what, which one do you prefer? Which one do you like doing well, best? Well, I was taught... Shuttle tatting. Oh, okay. So I tend to go back to, to yes, shuttle yes, tatting. Of course, yeah. Uh, but um, yeah, I mean, I have uh, some very good friends. They, they, uh, one friend in particular, sh Jenny. She's watching. And Hi, Jenny. Jenny. Uh, she uh, looks at my patterns for me, makes sure I don't make any oh, mistakes. She, yes. So she she does that for me, and she so needle now, tats beautifully. And what? She tats needle beautifully. tats beautifully. Well, I was going to say. Now you said at the beginning we could needle tat these if we yes. wanted, didn't you? These. Uh, yes, because you see, it's just <coughs> the same. Yeah. So they need to buy um, a needle because we haven't got any needles for. Se we haven't got them separately, but they can contact you to get the yes, needle, couldn't yes. they? Yeah, 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 yeah. That's yeah. fine. But if they've not done anything before, I would suggest they buy the kit and then you've got your, your start. The, the Easter egg kit, yes. yeah, and then move on to the jewellery. Yeah. Good idea, yeah. good idea. Okay, so to put um, our, our bead onto that pico, obviously we've got to have a bigger pico than we would normally have. Right. So we use what's called a pico gauge, and here is a pico gauge. And bit, what is it? All this is it's a, it's a piece of cardboard right. that I've taken off a um, a package, and I've made sure that it's five millimeters wide. Right. Is it okay. one of those things that goes in a packet where you put it on your display and the bit of cardboard yeah. comes out of the yeah. hole? Yeah. Yeah, something like that. So as long as use. it's five millimetres. Five millimetres. This one we want five millimetres okay. because our beads are four millimetres. Oh, okay, right. okay. And this is how we use. Right. Our, so we're going to put, put the gauge yeah. in our, between the, our thumb and finger and then we're going to move the thread over the gauge, okay? Yeah. That's the thread round your round your hand yeah. in this particular case. And then we're just going to carry on behind there and do a stitch, a double stitch. And then we take the pico gauge out and you can see you've got your pico there. How does the bead fit in there then? We put it on with a crochet hook. With what? With a crochet Oh, hook. so we don't do it as we're going along like no, the other ones. No. It goes on afterwards. No, that goes on afterwards. Okay. So that's ready for the next time you do a uh, chain. Yeah. Okay. So Sorry, we'll finish. Um, we'll finish that ring. Three, four. Make it a bit bigger. Five. Six. Okay. Yeah. And when we pull that ring together, you see that you've got your little bead joined. Yeah. And there's your big, and that's ready for the next bead. Yes, I've got it. And you've also got picots at the top as well, but they're just for decoration, aren't they? No, that one is for when you're joining to come back. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah. And again, we know how to do that because I did that on my last one as oh, well. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So once you've finished all you want to do on there, you will come back and join onto those right. picots okay. there. All right. So that is that's two ways of uh, putting your beads on. Right. So now we're going to have a look at the earring pattern. Earring pattern. So should we move to a different colour? Oh, you'll you stay on the same colour. I'm, I'm staying on the same colour. Are if we that's moving okay. to a different colour then? Blue. Yeah, that was. Uh, yeah, the grey one next. We're just going to show you so we can you can see the graphics. Yeah. So this, they're all level pegging sales-wise. This one is the one with the uh, hematite and the peacock beads in. Um, and then we're going to do the earring pattern now then, aren't we? So it's yeah. like a little so four-leaf clover. Yeah, with the earring pattern and also with the, if you want to show the um, pendant pattern, yeah. uh, you'll see that there are 
beads on the actual rings as well as on the on the earrings yeah on yeah. the on the rings itself yes if you um have a look at the pe uh, the pendant pattern you see that inside right the i'll show you this to, can you see this paul can you see the actual rings themselves have got little black beads on the end they've of got little a little uh, trilogy of trilogy where did that come yeah. from yeah trilogy of beads at the bottom and then it's got a big bead between each one that's but we right. can talk about the little ones at the bottom yeah. now yeah yeah so we've already looked at how to put them onto the chain, yeah. but we need to know how to put them onto the ring now. Yes. Okay. So what the pattern tells you to do is to thread 36 beads onto your thread. And let me show you a nice way of doing it because this is quite a thick thread and you're going to have to get it through a little bead. Yes. Okay. So what we do is we have a bead needle that we thread with ordinary cotton. Right, a beading needle. A so. beading needle, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And we make a loop. Okay? Yeah. So we just have it as a loop. And we put our thread through the loop. Right. And then we can thread on our needle. Now I've already oh, got clever. 30. Isn't it clever? I've got 30 on there already. So we're going to put one, two, three, four, five, six more. Yeah, we don't sell the beading needles. I don't. Oh, have we? It's well, out of jewelry. There. You should do. I think. <clears throat> no, no, we should. We have had beading needles in the past. The only thing I'll say about be if you like me and you have very hot hands, um, a beading needle can bend quite a lot if you use it. Yeah, they do. They do yeah. bend. <laughs> this one's bent. <laughs> I okay. of, when I first started off, I used to do a lot of beading for the Royal Ballet and Festival Ballet because that was my that was my oh I how see. I made my money to stay at college sort of thing. So. Yeah. Right. Okay, so I'm... What have you lost? Missing a shuttle. I have to Another shuttle? I'll have to borrow a shuttle. Okay. <laughs> Make sure you put it... Oh, they're yours anyway oh. over there. There's a shuttle. Yes. There's one somewhere, but I yeah. can't find it. Okay, so now we've got the beads on the thread. And this is how we start with right, okay. the other one as well. We're going to thread the shuttle. Yeah. And for the earrings, you only need about a metre and a half on your shuttle. So we just tie the thread onto the shuttle. Uh -huh. And remember, that's a metre, yeah. so that's about half. Would it be a metre on Little Paul? It wouldn't be on Little Paul. Yes, would it, would it, it would. Yeah. Near yeah. enough. Oh, OK. Near enough. He's only little. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> he can't be that little. <laughs> <laughs> have we got be he is. Have we got beading needles on the on the website, please, Hannah? On Sewing Street, not on Yarn Lane, on Sewing Street we've got There them. you go. Yeah, same P and P, so don't worry about it. So you can put all these things into your basket. Yeah. But that's a little trick to put your beads. Otherwise yeah, you're a long time. We've got five minutes left of demo. Okay, so, so it must be quick. Yeah. So um, I'm going to put twelve beads now. Onto the shuttle side. Right. So three, six, nine, twelve. Onto the shuttle. All right. So they're on the shuttle thread. So when I start doing the earring, I start with a ring. Hang on a second. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, four. I'm being quick now. Yeah. One, two, three, four. Then I have to make my big pico. Remember how we use the pico gauge? So there's yeah. your five millimeter pico. Yeah. Move the gauge. Do four more. Two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Done it wrong. Right, let's start again. Oh. Done so, it completely wrong there. So if you've done it wrong, how do this you This is live it? TV. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Fine. It's been it's trying to rush. Yeah. Yeah, we're okay, aren't we? Okay. Right. So before we make the ring, we put three beads into the ring. Right. Okay. That means that we can now have those beads in the ring. Yeah. So and they're the three that ca cause that little trilogy at the bottom, aren't they? Yeah. Yes. So then we can start the ring. Then we have to do a big pico. So again, yeah. showing you how oh, to use. Oh, so you use. need your five. Now is it a five millimeter one? Five again? millimeter yeah. pico gauge. And one, two, three, 
four. And then we bring those three beads round. Right. Okay. And then do the next four. And you see you've now got those. So they've been caught in between those into two the stitches. Ring. Yes. So you must remember when you're making the rings uh, on your earrings, you must remember to put those three beads onto your ring thread before you start. So they're the and same, that's what I the same on the pendant as the earring. Then, yes, yeah. yes, and the pendant's the same. Yeah. So it's three ways of putting your beads on your thread. So if you want them on the chain, you put your beads on your ball thread. Yeah. If you want them in the ring, you put your beads on the ring thread, so they need to be on your shuttle. Right. Whoops. And oh. you can ha add beads afterwards on a, be a long pico as yeah. well. So three different ways. So if I pull that up very quickly, you'll see yeah. the ring has now got... Oh, wow. Look, little Paul. <laughs> yeah, we just hold it there. We're just going to come in close. Have a look at it. Well, I'm never. Okay. <laughs> little Paul thinks he looks like him with his ears and a little hat on the top. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. So that's how you <coughs> add your beads to your tatting. Okay, then we've got two minutes. Do you want to, a minute and a half? Is there anything else you quickly want to tell us? Uh, is there anything else you want to know? I ask, well, I'm, ask not, away. I I'm going to buy this and I'm going to You're start, gonna start this. You're going to start. I think I'd be a needle tatter. I think if, if you think, oh, I don't understand, go and watch the shows on the 16th of December yes, and the 1st, 1st of, of February. February. And do this one and do it. watch it on YouTube so you can stop and start, stop and start. So if Barbara does something, oh, what was that? You can rewind, just watch that little bit and everything. Because I understand we only have, like, we end up having 45 minutes demo here. Mm. So it's very, very quick. But it is totally and utterly fascinating. If so you've got, if everything you've got in this, those kits makes all three of those. Yes, there's enough you've got in there, everything you need there, all of the findings and everything. If you're a beginner with your shuttle tatting, in the beginner's kit, I would suggest you always put the variegated thread onto your shuttle. Right. Okay? And that will help you when you're doing your rings. Right. And if you use two colourways, you will see then when you've done the stitches. Okay? Perfect. Barbara, that was absolutely fascinating. Right, let me do a I'm quick round of the way to go. Um, so, let's go back to the needle one. The needle one is here. Over half the stock of these have gone, and in the kit for twenty five ninety nine, you get the book, you get a pattern, you get two, or you don't get those, you don't get the finished ones, you get the two Easter cards with envelopes, you get the needle and the needle threader, you get the variegated American thread, uh, all that for £25.99, and, and they can create things like this and like this. Oh, Paul's got a picture of those, there you go. £25.99, there you go. Beautiful, aren't they? Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. Now, if you've got seed pearls or, or anything at home, could you add them into the yeah, the needly one? Yeah. Yes. Perfect. Yeah. That's lovely. Yes. That's. Um, use whatever you've got. Exactly. Also, look at this just as an example on the back of the pattern. Look, t-shirt cuffs around the necklines of t-shirts and everything like that. Very, very versatile. Okay, so that lives over there. That's that one. Now, the beginner kit, which is this one here, the, the one with the three that Barbara was just, this is shuttle, that was needle, this is shuttle, right? Can't guarantee what colour your shuttle be. It could be bright orange or it could be blue, it could be any <laughs> colour. Uh, you get three balls of the thread here. You get the variegated, the pale blue and the kingfishery blue. You get the shuttle. You get the little book, learn tatting with lacette. And also an instruction. All that for 19.99. Brilliant way to start your um, if you've never done a tatting with yeah, a shuttle before, that'd that. be the best way to start. And that thread goes absolutely miles. Oh, we can imagine. Miles and miles of it. Perfect. So that's that one for 19.99. And uh, I've got the necklace here and the the decorating of the um, mask. Yeah. I won't put it on because it's not my mask. But look, it's a bit small. Isn't it? Would be a bit small for me. And also, I don't want to prove. Wearing it if you're going to wear it later. I don't give you any germs. No, I've got any germs. Right, next. Next, which one do you want to go to next? The blue jewellery one here. And I've only got the pendant here to show you. But in this one, 
you don't get any Laura Shuttle in these. That's why you need to buy the beginner's kit first of all. So you do get your ball of thread. You get big pearls, little seed pearls. You get the findings and you get the instructions. £21.99. pence, And you can make the earrings, the pendant and the bracelet out of those. There you go, there's the pendant. And you get the findings to be able to fix those. You don't get the chain, obviously, but you attach it to... Actually, it would look nice on a ribbon, wouldn't it? A really beautiful ribbon that would look nice on. Okay, so that's your blue one. Now the... Gr oh, no, it's not going on. I'll put that there. Now the grey one. I've got the whole set here. I've got the whole suite. I've got a picture of that. Right, so in this one, you get your silver... Well, they call it grey. It's more of a silver colour, isn't it? Silver grey thread. Um, you get your hematite. You get your little peacock... Um, coloured uh, seed pearls there. You get your findings, you get your instructions, Twenty-one ninety-nine, And you can make, oh yeah, a little smile, big smile, there it is, there's the pendant. You'd think I'd worked in jewellery, wouldn't you, looking at that one? <laughs> okay, so that's that one. Uh, excuse me, my nails are not a letdown, Hannah. <laughs> Says she, <laughs> Miss Chewy Nails. Oh. They're very harsh yes, to me. They are. That I have to put up with this all the time. <laughs> right, and then this is my favourite. I love this one, this multicoloured one here. Mm -hmm. So in this one, they call it the pink. You get the variegated thread, which has got, got amazing colours in it there. Then you've got your Aurora Aurora Borealis beads. <laughs> then you've got your silver seed pearls. And you've got your um, findings. £21.99. I oh, know. Isn't that brilliant? I've loved that. I've absolutely loved learning that. I'm going to stick to needle tatting, though. I don't think I'll be able to cope with shuttle tatting. Once you've got your needle tatting off, you can do some jewellery. Yeah, yeah, I will do. I will do. What's the matter, Hannah? Oh, now there is a little starter kit, which I can't show you. can't show you a picture of or anything. And it's got a learn, with, learn tatting with Lasset. It's my glamorous assistant will show you here. So you get the you get the magazine. Oh. It, all, it, it all opens out so you can put it on your desk. Yeah, put it on the desk, that'd be perfect. And see all the things that... And you get a shuttle with that as well, do you? You get a shuttle with it, yeah. Colour indeterminate. Four ninety nine for that beginner kit there. OK, thank you, Barbara. It's been an inspiration. Thank you for having thank me. Thank you, everybody. Now, I'll be back on uh, Friday. Not in again until next Friday on Sewing Street. I presume I've got a yarn lane that day as well. And then tomorrow, the yarn lane will be back tomorrow with Anna Nikopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakopakop